Welcome to SPC Insights with Dr. Bill, simplifying SPC and statistical analysis. This video is going to take a look at how you use control charts when you only have one data point to represent a situation. So maybe it's once a day, once a week, once a month, once a quarter, but your process produces few data. What do you do in this case? Well, an individual control chart is very useful when you have limited data like this. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to give you a brief overview of individual control charts. You're going to take a look at what an individual control chart is. You'll see it's two charts, the individuals with a moving range chart, when to use it, we've talked about it already, limited data, how to construct it, we're going to look at the equations of course, but also how software can be used, and then how to interpret the individual's control chart. So, individuals' control charts are typically used with variables data, things you can measure or count, and it's really two charts. There's the X chart where you plot the individual results over time, but there's also the moving range chart where you're going to plot the range between consecutive samples over time. And like all control charts, it looks at variation. The X chart looks at the long-term variation in individual results, where the moving range chart looks at the short-term variation between successive samples. So let's take a look at an example here with rework. And this is a department that's been tracking their rework over time. They, they, they figure out how many hours per week they do in rework. They're going to plot the results on the X chart. The first week was 105 hours. The second week is 93 hours. And they continue to do this over time. And once they have enough data, they can calculate the average. It's 99.4, almost 100 hours. Then they can calculate the upper and lower control limits are going to be calculated and added as well. And then you're ready to interpret the chart. The moving range chart, on the other hand, is going to track the range between consecutive samples. The moving range between consecutive samples. So the range between samples 1 and 2 is the first moving range. You had 105 and 93, so that value is 12. And you do that over time. And once you have enough data, you calculate your average and you calculate your upper control limit and add those to the chart. And there is no lower control limit with a moving range chart. So then you're ready to see if it's in control. With the X chart, all the tests apply, points beyond the control limit, zones, trends, uh, over control. But with the moving range chart, only points beyond the limit. And these are in control. We can predict the results. Doesn't mean the results uh, acceptable. 100 hours of rework is not very acceptable. Uh, per week. But again, you're going to use it when you only have one data point to represent a, sit a situation. Could be sales per month, downtime per day for a plant or a piece of equipment, or the cost of quality per month. So how do you construct an individual's show chart, control charts? The, the steps are the same for all charts. Gather the data, plot the data, calculate the averages as a control limits, and then interpret the charts. We're going to take a look at how you use the SPC for Excel software to generate an individual's control chart. Here our example is we're tracking weekly maybe the, the accounts receivable each week. The first week it's $68,000, the second week it's $78,129. But here's your individual data points over time. Those are entered into an Excel spreadsheet to use the SPC for Excel software. We're going to select the variable chart, control chart option to take a look at. And it comes up and it tells you we're going to use the individual's chart. You select OK. And all you have to do is add a name of the chart. We're going to call it our AR data. And then we select OK and the software generates the individual chart for you. And the X chart is on top, the moving range chart on the bottom, and so the plots, uh, points are plotted over time, the averages and control limits added, any points that are out of control are in red, and you can see there's one point beyond the control limit on the moving range chart, the X chart looks, in, looks like it's in control. Well, what are the calculations that you get to? Well, with the X chart, you calculate the X bar value, the overall process average. It's to sum up the X values and divide it by K, where K is the number of samples we have. Then you calculate control limits, the upper control limits, that average X, plus 2.66 times the average range, which we'll show in a minute how to calculate. The lower control limits is the same thing, except it's minus. Then with the moving range chart, we're going to calculate that average range, uh, it's the average moving range. It's the sum of the range values divided by K minus 1 since there's one less data point for the moving range. The control limits, the upper control limits, 3.27 R bar. There's no lower control limit with a moving range chart. 
And then there, if it's in control, you can estimate the standard deviation or sigma as R bar divided by 1.128. And that's the value you use in your process capability analysis. Interpreting the individual's control chart, again, we all the tests apply to the X chart. Uh, points beyond the control limit, zones, etc. The only thing that really applies to the moving range chart is points beyond the control limit. The X chart's in control here. The moving range has one out of control. So you want to find out what happened and correct that problem. So what have we learned and looked at in this quick video? We looked at individuals' control charts that you can use when you don't have much data. The X chart looks at the long-term variation. The moving range chart's a short-term variation and you use it to determine if your process is in control or if you have special causes. Thanks for watching the videos. Click the YouTube subscribe button below. You visit our SPC knowledge base on, on the website, over 215 free articles, or you can make your own charts with the SPC for Excel software from the website. And thank you for watching the video. Feel free to download the demo from our website to make your own charts. Once again, thank you for watching the video.